The best places to go in Europe in 2024. Majorca in Spain. The Grande Dame of the Mediterranean remains unrivaled thanks to its pitch-perfect brand of low-key luxury, exceptional service and focus on sustainability. But in recent months, the Balearic Island has added even more jewels to its crown. Among them is Sun Bunyola, Richard Branson's latest hotel, in the Tramontana Mountains. Not far from there, in the town of Puigpunyant, the team behind Andalusia's stellar Finca Cortizan has opened Grand Hotel Sunnet in a 17th-century manor house. Also adding to the excitement for 2024 is the slick styling of Ico's Por du Petro, farm-turned boutique Stay the Lodge and Zell Mallorca. The first Zell Hotel is a collaboration between Rafael Nadal and another homegrown big hitter. Melia. As if that wasn't enough, there's also the Four Seasons, which takes over the much-loved hotel fermenter, Mandarin Oriental Punta Negra. Beachfront Athos and Marugal, which has unveiled its second project on the island after Cap Rocat. Meanwhile, Saracer del Dimani Hotel will open in Santa Margalita. And Belmond La Residencia will continue its Artists in Residence program in the third edition of art installation Mitico, in collaboration with Galleria Continua. Bia Ritz in France. Just over the border from San Sebastián, the French resort town of Biarritz is prepped to step out of the shade of its Michelin star-studded Spanish Basque counterpart and welcome a new generation of sophisticate. They are booking into its artfully resuscitated Belle Epoque hotels. Including Experimental's brand new Regina Biarritz, Unbound's Hotel du Palais and enigmatic indie villa Magnin. Book a table at Deputa Madre and dine with local interior designers and filmmakers. The late 20th century was not kind to this beautiful town on France's southwestern coast, its dwindling fortunes and faded grandeur standing in stark contrast to its late 19th century and early 20th century heyday. When Emperor Napoleon III had his summer palace here, and his Spanish wife Eugenie promoted Biarritz as a health resort. Happily, in the no Spanish and French urbanites have rediscovered this belle époque delight. Lapping up a hip surf scene, Biarritz is one of Europe's oldest surf destinations, thanks to a bunch of American filmmakers who visited in the 1950s, and fueling a youthful Basque culinary scene. From the thrilling Les Halles covered market to Neo Bistro Epoque and Michelin starred favorites such as Lomperdinant, Anna Hart, the Cyclades in Greece. Is there anywhere more popular than the Greek islands right now? This past summer, the Cyclades, an island group that includes Mykonos, Santorini, Peros, Milos and Ios, dominated social media feeds with beautiful blue and white backdrops, thrilling beach clubs and nightclubs, and unparalleled shopping. With more smart stays being unveiled in 2024, as well as new flights, next summer is the time to make a Cyclades trip happen. Etihad. British Airways and Saudia added new routes to various Greek islands in 2023, plus the 2022 launch of Cycladic, the first inter-island airline means it's easier than ever to get there. Hotel business is booming. Santo Pier in Oya on Santorini has just added 20 new suites, and next year it will be joined by sister hotel Santo Mine, a 37-suite luxury resort. Slick boutique hotel Calesma on Mykonos will launch its spa for the 2024 season, including a hammam and cryotherapy area. Five-star, 80-acre Gundari Resort will open on Folagandros next May while a new one and only property will come to Kea in April. Such plush hotels are rare on these islands, expanding the options for luxury stays in the Cyclades. Northern Italy. For the first time ever, the first three stages of the Tour de France will take place in Italy in 2024, a historic moment for the country, the sport and the prestigious race. Competitors will saddle up in Florence, head east towards Rimini on the Adriatic coast follow the Apennines north through Emilia-Romagna and complete stage 3 in Turin. With their truffles and terroirs, Italy's northern regions are best known for their gastronomic heritage, but two-wheeled pursuits have long been part of the landscape. The 1998 Tour de France champion Marco Pantana was born here, while professional racer Davide Cassani was instrumental in developing the Via Romagna, a 462 km network of cycling routes throughout the region. Now, tour operators have upped their game in time for the event. Tourismo's week-long cycle holiday is designed to provide guests with live-action access to the tour itself. Plus the chance to conquer the hills and thrills of Emilia-Romagna. Ride International Tours and Ride Holidays have released new routes to reflect growing interest in the region, while the looping. Leisurely route between Parma and Modena by in-travel leaves more time for sampling local delicacies along the way. 
Those more comfortable on four wheels will find the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix and the annual Motor Valley Fest, both in May. Irresistible this is the birthplace of Maserati, Ferrari and Lamborghini after all. While those who prefer life in the slow lane can board new railway routes between Turin and Canelli with Fondazione FS's 1930s carriages or take Nijet S overnighter from Verona to Liguria, via Milan and Genoa. Make a final pit stop in Pissarro to find out why it's been crowned Italian capital of culture for 2024. Yorkshire in the UK. For a bewitching break in 2024, go north. Yorkshire-born sculptor Henry Moore once said, the observation of nature is part of an artist's life. And Yorkshire has some of the most seductive nature, sweeping landscapes like living oil paintings. Undulating dales and peaks, deep forested moors with big skies, heady lavender fields, lofty woodlands filled with birdsong, and golden sandy sweeps skirting the peppermint blue sea. The Brontes romanticism is not lost. In 2024, go stargazing in Yorkshire's national parks at the Magical Dark Skies Festival. The Yorkshire Balloon Fiesta will return to its new home at Castle Howard in 2024, with rainbow bright, early morning mass balloon flights and night glows. There were plenty of Michelin mentions for the county in 2023, with keen eyes on the 2024 list, so restaurants with rooms are ramping up. Just up the road from the Black Swan in Oldstead, Michelin lauded chef Tommy Banks' latest outpost, the Abbey Inn, opened in May and its three luxurious bedrooms, care of Tommy's mother, were launched in July. For the ultimate culinary sleepover, stay two nights and eat at both restaurants. Newbie Mies, helmed by chef and sommelier couple Joshua and Victoria Overington, is a petite restaurant with rooms set among caramel-colored cottages in the sleepy village of Hovingham. Book in for its creative tasting menu, then retire upstairs to one of the cozy cool rooms. In June, Middleton Lodge, a sustainable luxury retreat bordering the Yorkshire Dales National Park, launched the forest spa in the heart of a serenely wooded estate. Don't pass by honeycomb-hued Helmsley, with its emerging culinary scene and the recent opening of Pignut, a restaurant with a sustainable focus and impressive casual and tasting menu options.